Venice, a tourist hotspot and a city brimming with culture and history. A city that could possibly be underwater in as few as 50 years. This surprisingly little known fact casts a dark cloud over the residents of Europe's floating city, causing annual frustration and economic concerns. Water levels have risen there, flooding the lagoon city, including the famous St. Mark's Square. Aqua Alta, or high waters, engulfs Venice on an average of four times a year, sweeping the city with 140 centimetres of polluted canal water, flooding popular tourist hotspots and residents' livelihoods. Venice is formed by 118 small islands linked by bridges. With no cars, the only transportation to manoeuvre around Venice is by boat. Covering only 414.6 kilometres squared, space in the city is limited. One Phoenician who lives with the threat of devastation is Martino Argenta. The, the high water is a big problem for San Mark Square and the Rialto, the two lowest zones. And here the, 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 the owners have a lot of um, things to do for uh, not have a problem with the water. But uh, many, 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 many bars, many shops close because are very low, you know. And they can't put a special door because it's uh, too low. And they have to close, just to close and wait uh, the next day. It's very nice because uh, you, uh, sometimes you, have, you wait uh, eight hours inside, not do nothing, you stay with the food in, in the water. It's very cold, it's very strange. It's a problem, you know. Around 50,000 tourists on average visit Venice per day to experience the culture as it is like no other. Mask maker Massimo Baldrin is a well-respected craftsman in his profession. And in the last, uh, the last 10 years they come often. We speak about here in the store around 35-40 centimeters of water inside. And uh, it's a problem but we know before so we can prepare. What's Sometime, uh, usually, I don't know why, but it's uh, midnight, uh, two o'clock in the night. So, we, in any case, we wake up, uh, we come here, we, we control everything. So, uh, sometimes we close the store for three, four hours, so we can't work and we can't sell. So, the damage is also that <laughs> we can't uh, sometimes work uh, with the, the water. So. I was born in New York City um, many years ago and I live here in Venice with my family, Gabriela. When, when, when I hear the sirens, that, 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 that used to be a... When we first got here, it was, uh, it was a siren that you might have heard in some World War II movie, that the airplanes are coming to bomb your city. The, the sirens go off, or the alarm goes off, Vacua Alta. I get my gate, this huge thing here. And I go to the door. And we'll stay open. And then I'll show you. I put it in these two channels here. It's actually quite big. Uh, I think I should get a smaller one because it's too heavy for my wife to do by herself. I'm not kidding. Um, when it's about a meter ten, it will come up to here and the gate effectively will keep the water out. And the city slows down. It, it, it takes time for the city workers to put up the, what we call passarelle. They, they look like bleachers. So they set them up, there's a park course, uh, you can follow, there's a map, uh, you can download it, you can see it on some of the maps that are published in the city, where, let's call them emergency routes, in and out of uh, your house, actually we don't have them here, but around the businesses, etc. If the gate's in place and the water com comes up over a meter 30 and that's when it starts affecting us here in our household, if the water will start pushing through the wall over here, um, it'll come out, it'll come up to certain places, the cracks in the walls over here. So what I do is, over here, lift this trap door off, Get my pump, There's, I attach a hose to it, and I throw the hose out one of the windows, put it down the hole, and plug it.
plug it in. Here's the noise it makes. Okay. That was it. supposed to happen. That's what happens. So this will go in, and I'll either open the door and put it out the door, or I have a longer one which will go out the window. Of course, with the threat of a sinking sissy on their hands, the Italian government had to do something to attempt to stop the water from leaking into the city from the canals. When uh, once they become so high, over one meter sixty, so I lost a lot of book, more than two hundred thousand. Yes, books I lost it. Ah uh, well. Uh, once I lost two hundred thousand, so can be four hundred in ten years' time. But you don't get no much to see because you you don't lose money, you lose book, then you replace slowly, slowly. Damage, yes, I did, uh, um, especially with the books, because I have. A, did you see the the bath in the, with the book? Yeah. And sometimes they go up, so I have to be very careful. Uh, The Mohs project is a series of gates that have been placed under the sea, which operate when the waters reach a certain level of 1 meter 20. The gates will rise above sea level to prevent the tide from entering the lagoon. But not everybody is happy with the investment. Once the water hits 1 meter 20, the gates are put into action, but only if they hit 1 meter 20. This means for low-rising areas like St Mark's Square and the Rialto, the gates do nothing. Could they have done it years ago? Yes, uh, I think the Dutch have been doing it. Uh, for centuries have been able to protect themselves, but it, it, it's slow to come. It's a bad job, it's a bad invention, it's a bad everything because they just lost money. They do nothing for the, for the ambient, they do nothing for the land, nothing for the workers. Just, uh, it's a, it's a just, for the, just for business, you know. It's no good for the citizens are not happy about uh, that. It's a stupid work, you know. It's a stupid invention there. I'm angry because uh, all the Italian uh, citizens know that politics doesn't work good, you know. They're just interested about the money. When, they, when there's a, a program or something to do for Italy, for the citizen, everything go, go bad, you know, finish bad. And that is uh, the history and that, that is what I feel, you know. That's what I think. So we are not sure if our was good. So if you are not good, uh, it, it is a big problem for the lagoon. It's a bad investment, you think? Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. But uh, there is a uh, 40 years they study about this uh, this kind of work, so maybe maybe it's good. Uh, I don't know. It is, it's too difficult for me to understand really which is the problem. Uh, it's difficult also to believe the politics. So. Two Venetians who work in one of Venice's only gondola workshops are frustrated with the Mose project. Si è discusso a 30 anni se farli o se fare o non fare quel quel grande lavoro, ma la discussione era più ideologica che tecnica, e quindi non ha portato a grossi risultati. Si è scelto alla fine i lavori sono partiti e Speriamo che funzioni. Sono molti, molto costosi, è un lavoro molto costoso e 5 miliardi di euro sono tantissimi soldi. E probabilmente si poteva fare qualcosa spendendo di meno e rovinando meno l'ambiente, forse. È un fastidio notevole perché oltre a venire l'acqua, poi cioè, prima bisogna tirare su la, la merce, poi bisogna, quando l'acqua va giù bisogna lavare, pulire e, e resta l'umidità nell'ambiente. La città è tutta sporca, c'è qualche fogna che tracima, per cui c'è spesso anche puzza di, di fogna. All the, all the money for saving Venice is going to that people, huh? You all pay for the gates with the taxes. You pay the taxes and I pay the taxes to the city, I pay the taxes to the state. Uh, 
if the state gives the money to the city or pay the city, it doesn't change. Always my money, yeah. I, I think that is wasting of my money, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, this is the St. Mark Square. St. Mark Square is the lower part of the town, like a floor. No? So when uh, we have a 90 centimeter over the sea tide, the, the square is covered by the water. We need uh, uh, some days to change the ride. Because, for example, around here it's not possible to go because there are small bridge. Many buildings have a, a, a still protection. Many people leave because it's becoming a more difficult to live here. If you look on the left, you can have an idea how high was the water during the 4 November 1966. This. This is, was the record of high tide, right here. So the water is arrived here. In 1966, Venice was hit with flooding of an all-time high, reaching 6 foot 4. Covering 80% of the city, it claimed thousands of homes and caused almost £145 million worth of damage. Well, uh, the highest is I wasn't here, was in 1966, came... Uh, very high, yeah. Maybe something, they come in the other room, in through the window. So it might be something like that, maybe. But this was an exceptional year. Yeah, and the 1966, until I came. Just uh, something left. I have to make a new sign. If uh, me be, be a politic, you know, me everything for the city, me I want to do everything for the city, but uh, I can do nothing. I just uh, can love my city and respect and, you know. No, 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 I don't worry about the food. I just, uh, I'm quite old, so <laughs> it's no long future for me. <laughs> I'm already 72 year old. In the future, some People that studied the, the ozone problem no? yeah. said that uh, this will be the, the first town that disappeared. Uh, yeah. You know, how many generations has to wait? This, you know, uh, I think uh, we will survive <laughs> yeah. for long. <laughs>